In the last 24 hours, we've documented two heartbreaking incidents of dogs apparently dumped by owners in the bitter cold temperatures. Our Scott Broom is in Montgomery County with more on how this is leading to a population crisis at animal shelters. Here at Montgomery County Animal Services, an emaciated large male mastiff named Conan by workers here is recovering oh, today God. after being found wandering in snowy and cold Lake Needwood Park by police last night. And in neighboring Prince George's County, an Uber driver shot video of this dog after it was left tied to a parking baluster outside a Lowe's store in Largo you? last night. I call 911. I'll wait for 30 minutes. Uber driver Patty Hernandez said she saw a man tie the dog up and walk away. A sheriff's deputy responded and took the dog to Prince George's County Animal Services, where it is reported safe today. The problem was that this was very, very cold yesterday. Uh, it's very, very sad, right? And back here in Montgomery County, the Mastiff found by Park Police wandering in Lake Needwood got a checkup where he was found to have open sores and be significantly underweight. Park Police tweeted a photo and video of the dog when it was found last night, saying it appears to have been outside for a while. And I learned today the cold snap is making a population crisis at area shelters like this one worse according to Maria Anselmo here at Montgomery County's Animal Services. We do get a lot more calls because people don't worry so much if they see a dog out in the backyard for an hour and it's 45 degrees outside or 70 and sunny. But when they see a dog outside in a backyard for hours and it's 18 degrees, that's not OK. Anselmo said shelters are already overwhelmed with large dogs like Conan because more owners are running into housing and economic problems, forcing them to give up their bigger animals. Conan and the dog found in Prince George's County will be held for five days by authorities in hopes that owners will come forward. After that, the agencies in both counties say they will do their best to find adoption situations. In Montgomery County, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.